Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today we have something pretty interesting to discuss in the world of iOS, and I also wanted to create this video to kind of act as a form of discussion for you guys pertaining to iOS 9.3, the next untethered jailbreak, and also open it up as a poll. So in a little bit, I will actually have a card that you guys can vote on. I'm really curious to hear your opinions, but first let's talk about the news. So this morning, Apple actually did something they've never done before. They released iOS 9.3 beta 1.1. This is the first time we've ever had a point X beta update, meaning instead of iOS 9.3 beta 2, we now have iOS 9.3 beta 1.1. Remember, its predecessor, just iOS 9.3 beta 1, was seeded to registered developers earlier this week on Monday. And for those of you who happen to miss out on my coverage on iOS 9.3, it will not only be linked on your screens now, but it will also be down below in the more info. And essentially one of the biggest things iOS 9.3 brings to the table is Apple's own version of Flux dubbed Night Shift. I actually did a complete review of that. I'll also have it linked below for you too. And for the changes in beta 1.1, basically it was mostly issued to just correct a problem where individuals weren't able to fully install iOS 9.3 beta 1 on their iDevices. It affected select models and that has been completely remedied now in beta 1.1. And it also corrects an issue where apps that utilize compass data on devices without a motion coprocessor would cause the location D service to constantly crash for the duration of the compass request. Now opening up Safari here, we're going to navigate to Apple's developer portal, which we can view without having to fully sign in. And you can see that the latest iOS 9.3 beta build was issued today, January 14th, 2016, if we kind of scroll down there. Now they also released the first public beta, which I'm going to show you guys how to get right now, if for whatever reason you want to update to iOS 9.3, because remember, Flux is a pretty awesome thing and you can get the Apple equivalent in iOS 9.3. If you're on 9.2 or even 9.2.1 beta, why not? So you can update to iOS 9.3 beta right now without a developer account just by going to beta.apple.com. And once you do, you just have to tap on sign up. From there, it will ask you to log in with your regular Apple ID, just the exact same one that you use to make iTunes or App Store purchases or even just download applications on the App Store. And then from there, you just have to go to beta.apple.com slash profile and sign in with that Apple ID, and then it will just tell you to download the profile. After downloading and installing said profile, you'll need to reboot and then just go inside of settings, general software update, and you should see a new iOS 9.3 beta update. Now my question to you is rather simple. Will iOS 9.3 essentially kill your need to jailbreak or at least decrease it? And what I mean by that is because iOS 9.3 does add full native Flux-like functionality, is that enough to deter you from jailbreaking in the future? on iOS 9.3 and higher. Again, there will be a card on your screens now, and if you don't happen to see it, just be sure to view this video on the desktop version of YouTube. I'd also like to hear your opinions on the topic down below in the comment section because it's definitely interesting. Personally, it's not going to completely alleviate my need to jailbreak. However, on my iPad Pro, I've noticed that I'm starting to use it more than my iPad Air 2, which I was previously favoring because it's jailbroken, primarily because it has Flux. So what do you guys think? Again, let me know below. Flux is one of my favorite tweaks, as I'm sure the majority of you are well aware at this point. And like I said, it's not going to completely eliminate my need to jailbreak because I do really love things like virtual home, but it's definitely going to help moving forward now that Flux is native. And while we're on the subject of jailbreaking, for those of you who happen to miss out on Monday's coverage, I will have three videos again linked below and two of which will actually be talking about jailbreaking. One specifically, iOS 9.3 beta and how the firmware could very well influence the release of the next untethered jailbreak, which again will likely be by Tai G. And the other one talks about how iOS 9.3 beta 1 was already jailbroken by Luca Tedesco, the same individual who happened to jailbreak iOS 9.2.1 and tease us on Twitter with an incredibly tantalizing tweet. Again, all details can be found in those two videos, and that's everything we know pertaining to the release of the next untethered 
Heather Jailbreak right now and the current situation as it stands. Remember, iOS 9.3 beta 1.1 doesn't really change much, which is why I mentioned this more toward the end of the video, kind of in this final wrap up here. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new Jailbreak updates, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.